Hello guys and welcome to Meek Summary. Today I will show you a movie called Jeepers Creepers 2, spoilers ahead. This movie starts off in a farm after three days Derry died in a gruesome way and it is shown that a father and his two kids are working on a farmland. While the big brother is fixing a car, his little brother is on the field fixing the scarecrows. The dad then tries to start his tractor and couldn't due to a problem and heads inside his home to fix his tractor. While he was inside, the little brother notices something weird on one of the scarecrows and the dog starts to bark. Then the kid decides to check out what it is, when he got near it he realizes that the scarecrow feet is moving and the kid starts to run. When he was running the scarecrow jumped and attacked him. That's when the dad got out of the house and starts to ask the big brother what that noise was, and when they both looked at the farm field they couldn't see Billy and when calling him they hear a scream and a movement in the field and started to run after him. When they got closer the creeper flew away with the kid. The next day, a school bus carrying a high school basketball team and cheerleaders celebrating a championship win suffers a blowout, after one of the tires is hit by a handcrafted shuriken made of bone fragments on a highway. While the coach and the driver try to figure out what to do the kids hear on the radio that a church has been burned four days ago and police have discovered more than 300 bodies in the basement. While back at the farm the big brother searching on the cornfield finds a weird weapon on the farm and shows it to his dad. The dad then starts to forge a weapon that can kill the creature. Back on the highway while the team is taking a break and tanning one of the guys who is peeing alone sees a shadow fly over his head and gets scared and screams then the coach tells the kid that the bus is fixed and it's time to go. When it go dark, the cheerleader Minxie was sleeping and has a vision of Billy Taggart and Derry Jenner, another victim of the creeper, who attempt to warn her about the creeper, before he blows out another tire, disabling the bus. With the team stranded, the coach starts to lay out flares on the ground while the driver checks out what happened to the tires and it turns out it is the same shuriken made of bone fragments that blew out the tire, so she starts to discuss with her associate what to do about the kids and suddenly the coach gets abducted without anyone seeing just hearing a scream then one of supervisor tells everyone to get in the bus. While everyone is in the bus, the driver Betty starts to look for the coach and gets abducted by the creeper within minutes. While the students were confused of what happened to the driver, one of the remaining supervisor comes in and asks students what happened while doing that he also gets abducted in front of the students. One of the students who tried to save the supervisor then says that the creeper has a big wings. Back at the farm the dad is listening on a police scanner for unusual reports, and he hears one and starts to move the area. While the team is in the bus stuck and arguing and fighting each other the creeper returns, he singles out six of the students, Dante, Jake, Minxie, Scotty, Bucky, and Double D. After he chooses them, Minxie faints and has another vision in which Derry says the creeper emerges every 23rd spring, for 23 days to eat humans, and she wakes up tells the other students what the creeper does. After hearing several police reports, the dad and his kid go hunting for the creeper and soon make radio contact with the school bus. After the contact the students celebrate thinking they were safe but as usual the creeper attacks Bucky through the roof of the bus but Rhonda stabs it through the head with a javelin. The creeper then pulls the javelin out of its head and flies away and falls down straight onto the roof of the bus. While the students were trying to get out of the bus, Dante begins prodding the creeper's wing, only for it to grab and decapitate him. The creeper then tears off its injured head and uses Dante's severed head to replace its own and flies away. The students then open the door and decide to leave the bus to find help, but the creeper returns and when they try to get back in the bus Johnny has locked the door so the creeper chases them into a field, where it kills Jake using the shuriken and takes Scotty after he got him stuck to a tree using his knife. Minxie was running away she finds the dad and his son on the road and she led them to the bus. When Bucky gets back into the bus using the roof he finds out that Johnny has actually led Chelsea in like a true sim. When the creeper attacks Johnny, Chelsea, and Bucky on the bus again, the dad arrives and shoots it with a homemade harpoon, which the creeper fights him off, managing to escape after flipping over the bus. Rhonda, Izzy and Double D find a truck and attempt to escape but are chased by the creeper again. Izzy pushes Rhonda out of the truck before causing the vehicle to stop making crash, injuring both Double D and the creeper, who loses an arm, a leg, and a wing, and Izzy crawls from the wreckage before the truck explodes. The creeper continues to pursue Double D by leaping towards him and, when it has Double D pinned down, the dad shows up and shoots the creeper in the head with a harpoon. He repeatedly stabs the creeper in the chest but it goes into a hibernation state before it can die. 23 years later, a group of teenagers drives to the farm, where the creeper is a sideshow attraction, called the Bat Out of Hell. They see an elderly Jack watching at the harpoon at his side, 